It, it's it's phenomenal to see the technology of the capsule with the technology of the railways around the, the first railway revolution in the 1840s started that engineering technology uh, developments that enable something like the capsule to happen so to have it here is fantastic now one thing that strikes me straight away is it, it's uh, been a bit battered hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd all be a bit battered coming uh, in from space and what's the scary thing to think about is three people People were in there coming from space through the atmospheres to Earth with a parachute to open it. I mean, that's phenomenal. Well, as, a, as someone who's a bit claustrophobic, thank you for mentioning that. Yes, you, you're right. It just doesn't seem possible, does no, it, really? No, no. Now, of course, obviously, um, you know, to get something like this into a museum like this, I mean, you know, the NRM's famous enough and does well enough, but it is all about set pieces nowadays, isn't it? You've got to have these big attractions, haven't you, dotted across the year? Mm. It, it, it's it, for us this is a great opportunity to bring something past the science museum group this is an object we brought into the collection bringing it here taking it to our other museums across the group but also we are touring it to other locations so it's going to Belfast uh, Cardiff Edinburgh um, and then a secret location that's been a competition that will be announced uh, next month of where it's going to so it's giving lots of parts of the country the opportunity to have something like this and for visitors to come and see it well, the Gear VR technology is something that we've um, we've had in existence for a while, and um, all our latest smartphones are compatible with it. Um, and it gives us the opportunity to create some really immersive experiences. Um, this is content produced by the Science Museum and a company called um, Alchemy, a production company. There's a, there's a, a um, VR headset which basically tracks the movement so as your head looks around the image shifts with you so it's really like you are um, in an open space you can look in any direction um, so as you're inside the Soyuz capsule you can look behind you you can look up you can look down and, and it follows your, your eye line as well um, there's then headphones that go over the top with a, with a Tim Peake voiceover.